I'm back. I know I haven't posted in a long time. Anyways, I'm at my friend Priscilla's today. Love her. Long, 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 long time. <laughs> what? It's been like years since you posted on YouTube. No, it hasn't. I posted right when I got back from my dad's. When shout out to my ex came out. <laughs> Priscilla, I love her. Mwah. Anyways, I'm going to be doing um, a thing between fan fiction on Wattpad and Snapchat and my friend Faith. So I'm going to do a quick Snapchat to Faith. <laughs> I love you. That was to Priscilla. Yeah, she doesn't love you people. <laughs> I love you guys too. It's just, I don't think you know this, but yeah. Anyways. All right. There's Faith. All right, so I'm going to do a Cameron Dallas fan fiction that, with uh, Sean Mendez. For a little free free to commentate in the background, I know you're going to laugh. <laughs> this one. That's the one that we just read. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we just read one earlier, which kind of gives me the idea of we should do this. Um, it's Shamron, and it, it's called Family. I love this book. It's really good. If you guys have a Wattpad account, I go check it out. Um, once I get the picture pulled up, well, my screen is really bright, but this is the picture. It says family and it's got Cameron with a little baby on it. Um, this is in my library. I've read it a couple of times before. This is a really funny one to listen to. Um, so here we go. This is chapter one. Daddy, daddy, what? I pull out my covers, but my son Hayden jumps on me. I'm hungry, 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 he giggles. And I pull him, pull down the covers from my face. Oh, are you? I say with a big smile. Yep. Now get up, please. And thank you. I laugh and get off the bed and carry him downstairs. I went into the kitchen and set him on the chair. I look at the oven clock and it's only seven in the morning. I laugh and rub Hayden's head. I open the fridge and it's nearly empty. Oh man, I guess this is why you shouldn't go out or have takeout all the time. Well, Hayden, it's time for us to go to the grocery, grocery shopping now. I say, picking him up and walking down upstairs. Why now? Because if I don't do it now, I'm not, I'm not going to do it later. And there will be a, too much people. Oh, no restaurant? Nope, we can't keep doing that, I say laughing. So actually, I'm just going to give a plot synopsis to this because it's a long 14 chapter book. Um, in the end, in which I totally love this book, it's really funny. Cameron ends up with Sean and they end up getting married in the end. It's really sweet and funny along the way. They go camping and I'm all not homophobic or anything, but I will have nightmares for the rest of my <laughs> life because of this. <laughs> she hasn't read the full book yet. But in the end, Sean remember that I am heartless and cold and <laughs> nothing sean also get uh gets kidnapped in the book which really sucks care of like what the heck um but in the end he's found again and they get married and live happily ever after from what i understand the book doesn't really give you a lot of detail what happens after f-r-i-d-g-e i think d-g-e sorry refrigerator <laughs> we're just trying to figure this out anyways so, oh, base respond back. Anyways, so, um, I have a lot of different ships. I love Jolinski. Such a Jolinski shipper. Oh, Halloween sound. Nightmare before Christmas. That's what she's watching. <laughs> um, we're really having a great time. I'm Snapchat and Faith back. My phone is weird. Anyways, um, so another thing I like to say is shout out to any of my viewers, subscribers. You guys are awesome. Also, remember to like the videos. I'm not done yet. If you don't like it, then fuck you. <laughs> First of all, I gotta love her. She's the best. Um, let's find one that's not homophobic, that's not dirty either. <laughs> PG thirteen, nothing else. Cameron Dallas Times Reader. 
probably not going to be as appropriate as hoping. So if you guys are younger than the age of 13, please do me a favor. Do not watch this. It is more for... Honey, you can tell them not to watch it. Make them watch it. <laughs> True. Anyways, um... Ooh, this one looks pretty good, but I don't think I'm going to read that to you guys. That'll be Priscilla and I's personal reading after this. See if she agrees or not. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, go ahead. From the looks of it, it is pretty good. It's called Fifty Shades of Dallas. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Priscilla just said, oh my god, no. So I don't know what you guys are going to think. <laughs> um, Cameron Dallas' sister is a cheerleader. Not looking interesting. Ooh, these are cute, but they're not. Dang it. Uh, just friends. Don't even know who that is. Matthew Espinosa's little sister. Mm. Another good looking guy? Matthew Espinosa. Um, so I'm trying to find a book. I wish I could see comments from you guys if you if any of you are actually viewing this. Because then I could see if you guys had any ideas of what to read, but I can't, unfortunately, because I'm using a phone, not a computer. Um, after prom. Here we go. This looks interesting. It is still being updated. It's only got nine parts. It has been has been updated to, since November 15th of this year, but it's called After Prom. Cameron Dallas, Times Reader, and it's being updated. It goes, prom is coming soon. You're going with your stupid boyfriend, but you really want to go to go with Cameron. Do I like him? No. What will I do? Is the summary. Die. <laughs> Priscilla. Remember, she doesn't, she's not into the romance or anything like I am. It's surprising enough, we are really good close friends like sisters, but <sighs> we're, we're totally opposite. <laughs> like, she's, uh, as she puts it, she's cold and heartless, and I am more of the fluffy romantic type. I have a, a whole bunch of books, so I'll, I'll read you one of them in a little bit. Um... Facebook is becoming a pain. Sorry. But, uh, my friends, for all my friends who are love out, who are lovely out there, love you guys. Hope you have an amazing time. <laughs> and so, Snapchat and Faith. I would, but I don't have any of the good stories. I would read you one of my stuff. I wouldn't mind if you guys want, but it's romantic and sad. <laughs> Priscilla, I, I may cry during it. She's an emotional slot. <laughs> yes, I am emotional. Not my fault. I have feelings. <laughs> Not like you just gave me. Oh, when your friends are perfect. <laughs> you guys are totally different, but you're like midtown flawless. I'm flawless. I woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> we are bad. I have done one video with uh, Cassidy Sudicum. I um. Yeah, you guys probably remember. It was called the Lizzie and Cassidy Show. Oh my god, that video is so old. If you guys haven't seen it, I check it out. It's really freaking hilarious. Like, oh look. Bubbles because <laughs> we're using the special effects on my mom's computer, which no longer exists. The computer quit working on us. By the way, yes, my eyebrows have been waxed. It is for the uh, educational purpose of myself. I am going to school to become an esthetician. So, this right here is the beauty of being an esthetician. You become the example for the teacher. You get more experience that way, too. Um, so, you know how it should feel to be waxed or whatever. And I love it, really. Suddenly, I have to fade real quick. And <laughs> oh wow, it's fun. Sorry, we're kind of having like a conversation. Side, side, side track. She said track to me, but hey, that's okay because that's what friends are for. Um, actually, I'm just going to read you guys one of mine instead of reading this book because let's be honest, my book is really freaking like sad and depressing, but really good. Um, so I'm going to read you guys a part of my book. This one is called Jack Linsky's Daughter. Um, it's about a girl named Jadson. Her name is Jadson Jade. That's her first name. Her middle name is Catherine, and her last name is Galinsky. I didn't know 
G's mom's name was Catherine until after I made the character's uh, name up. Like, I didn't realize that until then. But hey, it's okay. Because it's really sweet. Um, We're going to start off in chapter five of the book. Because, well, my phone just froze. So, maybe not. <laughs> no, you're screwed. No, I'm not. So, I can give you a summary of what happens in chapter four. In chapter five. Well, chapter four. Because chapter five, I'm going to read. I'm getting to turn my phone back on. Um, chapter four, basically, Jay finds out, uh, Jackson finds out, or Jaddy, as, we, as she's called frequently throughout the book, um, that she's going to be an older sister. A quite a few years older sister, like 15 years older. And then her mom dies, unfortunately. I had uploaded, I had made the chapter and uploaded it on December 7th. I had found out that Friday that Louis Tomlinson's mother had passed away that day. I don't know what inspired me to have Madison pass away, but it just happened. And so that part of the book's really entertaining for me. I mean, because I wrote it. It's such a sad scene. I'm going to read chapter five once I'm able to get into my phone. Um, what happens with with Jadson is, or Jaddy, she finds out her mom had died. She's in the hospital. Some unfortunate things had happened to her. Um, this is a serious thing that happens. Do not ever joke about rape or anything like that. It happens a lot. The reason why I did this in the story was to create an awareness about it. It happens a lot at high school parties. Teenagers get drunk and some of them stay sober and some things happen to them. It is really sad and unfortunate. So remember that, guys. It happens. It's not to be joked about. Um, Unless it happens to you. You can joke about it all you want. Yeah, unless it happens to you, then I feel bad for you. You can joke about it. I understand. But it really is a serious matter for someone who hasn't had it happen to them. Don't joke about it because it sucks. It can ruin a person's life. You know, <laughs> I was gonna say I know somebody, and she just spoke. Unfortunately, it happened to her, and so this is really sad. Chapter five. Here's chapter five, and it goes. Daddy's point of view. <laughs> I seen Daddy leave the room with his phone in his hand. He just came back in with tears in his eyes. I then said, "Daddy, what's wrong? What was that? Or not, Daddy? What was that? Daddy, who is that? Why are you crying?" He said, "Honey." That was your mom. That was your grandma from your mom's side. She started to bleed, and the doctors were not able to stop the bleeding, and she bled to death. May I remind you, he is stuttering while saying this. I can't really stutter while writing it. While reading it, it's really hard. <laughs> he started to full blown, to full blown, ball out, blown out, bawling his eyes out. I looked at Junior. Junior is Jack. Jun- Jack Johnson's son. Ju- Jack Johnson Junior. Jack. Edward Johnson Jr. I just thought I call him Jr. Simple, easy. Something my uncle was called for most of his life, and he's a junior, so um just held me. Junior just held me and said, It's going to be alright. I'm right here and I'm not leaving you at all. I looked at him and started to cry started to cry again as he hugged me tighter and rubbed my back as I cried. I can't believe my mama has gone. I promised her I would not get pregnant in high school. I I was not ready to lose my mom right now. I can't believe she's go- she's gone just like that. I looked up at my daddy and he walked over to me and sat down, pulling me into his lap. He hugged me and held me close as he and I both cried so hard. I looked at my dad and seen something I'd never seen in him before. Sadness. He was actually really sad. <laughs> He's not himself. Like when finding out mama di- mom died, killed him. Then Uncle JJ said, man, I'm sorry to hear about Madison. I know you loved her so much. Uncle JJ then hugged Dad, hugged Daddy, and said, if you ever need anything, just tell me. I mean, if you need to stay with Junior and I, you can. You know his mom left with his siblings and I miss them. My dad nodded and said, thanks, JJ. I'm going to take you up on the offer after we get out of here. Just as my dad finished saying that, a doctor came in, comes in and says, good, you're awake. Here's your vitamins for your pregnancy and you're free to go. My dad took the vitamins and Junior took me took me to get dressed. He helped me put on my top and shorts. Not to be dirty, guys. He's helping her change. He's also taking responsibility for a child that's not even his. May I remind you in this story? Um, put on my top and shorts. Dad came into the bathroom 
And now we are on our way to Uncle JJ's house. When we got there, Junior took me to his room and said, "Go lay on my bed. I'll be in soon. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna shower, and then I'm gonna come back, and I will lay with you." I nodded yes, and then my dad sh- showed up and said, "We're gonna stay. We're gonna move in with them. I mean, we will still have the house. Once you have the baby, we will move back, and you and Junior will have your mother and I's room, old room, and the bedroom right next to it will be the nursery, and my room will be your old room." I smiled and nodded to him. As an okay, Junior walked back into back in with no top on and laid on the bed with me. He opened his arms and I laid in his, laid in his arms as he held me close to him. I fell asleep instantly, knowing that I was safe in Junior's arms. So then, it's nine, it's seven months later. She was two months pregnant at the time, and she, in the time since she found out, she they decided they're going to name their daughter Jade Ann Johnson. Um. She ends up going into the hall. It's um she's just waiting to have her at this point. They buried her mom not too long ago. There's a song that I put with the video. It's a cover. I don't know how to pronounce the artist's name, but I really like her. It's spelled C A S C A D A and it's the so- cover of the song What Hurts the Most. Uh, I know Rascal Flatts did it a long time ago. That's a really good song. Um and she's like I miss her right now every, every day right now. And then all of a sudden, they, she goes to the hospital, and she has Jade. And J, uh, Junior whispered in my ear, "You did great, baby girl. She is finally here, our little Jade." I looked to Junior and smiled. Then my daddy said, "Baby girl, you did amazing." When we get back to your room and she is brought in, we need to take a family picture so I can post it on Instagram. I smiled at my daddy and said, "Thanks, guys." And daddy, yes, we will have to. The doctor came in and said, "Okay." Don't do any major lifting or anything for a couple of weeks. Also, a nurse will be will be in soon with your daughter, so she'll uh, she'll show you how to bre- how to breast feed and give you her birth certificate. You guys are free to leave at noon. I smiled and was wheeled to my room where the nurse brought Jaden. I smiled as the nurse handed me handed her to me. I gave her over to Junior and took her birth certificate. Filled out her name as Jade Ann Johnson, and signed my name as her mother. I then took Jade and Ju- took Jane and had Junior sign his name as her father. When we gave it to the nurse, and she took it to the front desk, and showed me how to breastfeed Jade. Jade was quite hungry. She fed for about twenty minutes. Then I burped her and gave her to Junior, who sat next to me on the bed and wrapped one arm around me. The other was holding Jade. My dad asked the nurse to take the picture with all of us with little Jade. Once my dad got his phone back, he said, Alright, Junior, give Jade back to J- to Jaddy and wrap one arm around her and put the other under her arms that's holding Jade. Junior did as told, and my dad said, Thanks, Junior. Good job, guys. Now smile. We smiled, and my dad took the picture and then said, Okay, Junior, move. It's my turn to be with my daughter and granddaughter. Junior moved, and my dad came and sat next to me, just like Junior did, and he took and he took a picture Junior gave my dad his phone back, and then about 30 minutes later, my phone vibrated. I looked to see an Instagram notification. I, I tapped on it. Here, it's pretty close. It's at 18 minutes and 30 some odd seconds. <laughs> I tapped on it and brought it to the, up to the brought up the post. My daddy put up saying that I had Jade and how proud he is of me. So that's chapter five. Um, you guys have to read that. <laughs> you guys will have to read the rest of it on your own. I don't want to spoil the rest of the book. I am currently working on chapter seven, though. Fair warning: chapter se- six and chapter seven are tear jerkers. If you get emotional, I'm getting emotional writing it. I'm crying as I'm writing. I was reading to Priscilla earlier today, and I was crying, and she was making fun of me. That was not. You're there silently judging. <laughs> exactly. You. You were like. <laughs> trying not to laugh at me being who she is it's probably really hard but it's one of my favorite things to do and so yeah if you guys want to check out any music i suggest you check out madison beer jack and jack um a summer high five seconds of summer r5 there's a lot of groups that suggest to, to check out nowadays um i have to do a huge shout out to faith though she's really cool um, I've been talking to her recently, and she's a sweetheart. Um, so I responded back to my YouTube channel uh, name, but she is a girl that 
I've talked to a couple of times over Facebook and she's really cool. She got to meet a summer high. They're a really good group. They're almost like five seconds of summer. They actually got to go on tour with them. So you guys should check them out. They have their first ever single out and it's really good. <coughs> so yeah, go ahead and look at that. Um, also to my friends that I have out there that actually watch my channel aren't like in the background silently judging me <laughs> and probably verbally thinking i know i was thinking things and verbally had said stuff from earlier but i love you guys all if you don't like the video well whatever but like comment subscribe um if you've already subscribed and like and comment what i should do next time on my video or if i should have priscilla come on camera and do my makeup or whatever I know she's done it for me in the past. It's really fun and exciting <laughs> because she's always all like, okay, here, we're going to do this. And like, she doesn't tell you exactly what she's doing. She doesn't tell you what color she's using or not. And she just puts it on you and you're just like, okay, I'm waiting to find out what I look like in the end. She does really good. She, she's tried breaking my hair a couple of times and it drives her nuts because my hair isn't even. So <laughs> she has like this OCD thing with that. So yeah. But like I said, guys, comment down below what you think I should do next in my next video. Um, if I could get any of my friends on who would be, I don't know what you guys would want us to do. Um, so yeah, <laughs> sorry that happened. Anyways, bye guys. Mwah.